Hi, this is a tour of uh, Irina's parents' apartment. Here you can see the outside of their apartment complex. There are 541 units in her apartment, and there's roughly 30 buildings in her neighborhood that are similar to hers. So that's a lot of people. Here's the rear of the apartment where her particular entrance is. There's eight entrances into this building. It's fairly grim. It's a uh, metal door that uses a uh, special magnetic key. As you open that metal security door, you're faced with a grim corridor and stairs. There are the ramps for delivery of things and also for baby carriages. Uh, once inside that uh, rather dimly lit and, um, and, and very plain hallway, you'll uh, find a couple of elevators. We're going to take them up to the seventh floor. Here we're exited the elevators and we're looking at a seventh floor hallway and the metal door that you see at the end leads to four apartments and that metal door was installed in the 80s in response to some really bad series of bombings by the uh, Moscow Mafia and as I, my understanding is that almost every apartment complex had metal doors put on. Irina's uh, own apartment has in fact two metal doors, an inside door and an outside door, like a storm door and an inside door, so pretty amazing. Here we've opened up that main metal door and we're looking at a kind of outer area shared by the four apartments for storage, etc. Again, pretty dingy, uh, not very well maintained, but as soon as we open up the apartment door, life changes. Here's the hallway in mom and dad's apartment. Very nicely kept up, uh, nice wallpaper, nice furnishings, there's an armoire on the left. No closets at all in any of these apartments, so they need the armoires for storage. Here's the master bedroom. It measures about uh, 10 by 10, uh, maybe, maybe a little more like 12 by 12. It's uh, medium size, I'd say. A couple different views of it. Uh, her parents are retired but her dad gets a little extra money by doing some chauffeuring on the side so they have a little bit uh, a better lifestyle than maybe middle middle class and you can see there's a flat screen TV in the in the bedroom but uh, they're, they're pretty solidly middle class I'd say uh, from talking to Irina uh, this apartment is pretty representative of what an average person would be like okay we're moving from the master bedroom into the living room the living room measures 10 by 19. It has a couple of couches in it that also turn into day beds, as you can see here. And again, along one wall is an entertainment area and uh, storage for clothes. Again, another armoire because there are again, no closets. At the one end of the living room is a balcony that's a little maybe 3 by 5 area that they use to uh, dry clothes and just um, hang out on. All right, we're going to move down the interior hallway. You're looking toward the uh, the kitchen now, and you can see again that interior hallway is used for storage. Uh, here is the bathroom. It's literally a bathtub and a basin. Interestingly enough, they share one uh, faucet, so that uh, nozzle from the faucet swings back and forth to deliver water to either the basin or the tub as needed. The uh, washing machine, clothes washing machine, is also in that little bathroom. The bathroom's five by five feet. Next door is a toilet room that's about three by three feet, only has a toilet in it. And then the kitchen. The kitchen is 10 by 10. It's uh, small but nicely appointed, as you can see. Her parents put in gra granite countertops and new cabinets a few years ago. Another television and uh, the window looking out over the over the city and this is fairly common to see that little kind of cafe style seating for the kitchen area it's very space efficient and it also has storage underneath the uh, the cushions you can also see the knickknacks that um, Irina's mother has accumulated over her for her with her travels over the years so this is a tour of what I as far as I know is a very common very normal Russian uh, house, and I hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll send you more.